a recipe for disaster. That's what happens when people always insist on getting their way. In Parashat Sav, the Torah introduces us to the Korban Ola, the burnt offering. And this is how the Torah starts the passage, Zot Torah Ola. This is the law of the Ola, the burnt offering. The Sefer Vayedaber Moshe teaches a very important lesson from these words. The term Ola, he says, of course, means to go up. And here it can also represent an arrogant person, somebody who is always trying to raise his or her level at the expense of others, people who have an expanded view of themselves. Now, what is the Torah of the Ola? What is their outlook? What is their mindset? It is all centered on the word Zot. This, this is what I want, this is what must happen, and they never take no for an answer. In Parshat Shoftim, the Torah famously teaches, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof, justice, justice, you must pursue. The term Tzedek, of course, like Tzedek, means to be correct. And our sages teach us that the term Tzedek is repeated in order to tell us that sometimes the correct thing to do is to compromise. When one has the maturity and the responsibility to compromise, then one facilitates peace and harmony. Where there is compromise, everyone's a winner. And when there's no compromise, and when everybody strives to achieve their own aspirations without ever giving in to anybody else, there is no basis for a harmonious relationship. So therefore, in the most surprising of contexts, the Torah teaches us an important lesson about human relationships. If you wish to be an Ola, always to raise your own importance, always striving to get your own way at the expense of others while propelling yourself upwards, ultimately, you might just come tumbling down. Shabbat Shalom.